The Babysitter's Club by Gabriella Epstein Book 9 Claudia and the New Girl Chapter 1 I'd been watching this fly for ages. I wondered whether it found English class as thoroughly boring as I did. This is Mrs. Hall, our teacher. She was talking about from the mixed up files of Basil, Basil E, Frank and Whaler, and the wrestling game. Claudia, can you help us out here? Um, with what? Claudia Kishi, would you please pay attention? Yes. Class, please close your books and take out a fresh piece of paper. I want to give you a pop quiz. These questions will be on chapter 7 and 8 of Mixed Up Files, which you should have read last night. Should have is right. Question 1. How much did Jamie pay for the P.O. box? 2. What is the fake name used for the letter? 3. Hello, Ashley. We're happy to have you. Class, this is Ashley Wythe. She just moved to Stony Brook and will be joining us for English. I hope you make her feel at home. We had a new girl in her class. This girl looked like a hippie. She had three earrings in each ear. Wow. English class had suddenly become much more interesting. Why don't you take the empty seat beside Claudia? Um, hi. Do you know where room 216 is? Sure, it's on my way to my math class. I'll take you. Okay. Thanks. My name is Claudia. Claudia Kishi. Um, I was wondering, I know this sounds funny, but are you related to Andrew Wife? Andrew Wife was a famous American landscaper. Painter. One of my favorites. No. I wish I were, though. She knew who I meant? Boy, so do I. Do you like his work? Like it? I love it. I take all kinds of art classes. I want to be a painter someday, or a sculptress, or maybe a potter. You do? So do I. I mean, I want to be a sculptress, and... Um, I better get to class. Bye. I think someone very different just walked into my life. Chapter 2 I didn't see Ashley again today since we only had two periods left. But that's okay, I had a babysitter's club meeting to go to. Hi Mimi. Ah, hello my Claudia. How about having special tea? Oh, I can't. I mean, I don't have time. We have a club meeting. Everyone will be here in 10 minutes. Ah, yes, I see. Mimi, there's a new girl in school, Ashley Wife. She's in my English class and she likes art just like I do. We only talked for a few minutes, but I think maybe we're going to be friends. Isn't that funny? It happens that way sometimes. Happened when I met your grandfather. In one second, I knew we would fall in love be married, have children. Really? I've got it. Hi, Claudia. Come on in. The club is really fun and good business. People call us when they need babysitters. We meet in my room on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoons, since I have my own private phone line. For that reason, I can be the vice president. Marianne is our club secretary and keeps track of all jobs in her club notebook. Mallory is a junior officer who helps take care of daytime jobs. Jessie is our newest member and also a junior officer. She just moved here from New Jersey. Don Schaffer, our alternate officer, wasn't there that day because she, had, she was sitting for the Perkins kids. Logan Bruno is an associate member and Marianne's boyfriend, too. He takes on jobs when we need the help but doesn't come to meetings. Stacy is treasurer and keeps track of the money. She also manages our club expenses, like paying Christy's brother Charlie to give her to get her to meetings. Now that she lives in a different neighborhood, Christy is the founder and president of the BSC. Thanks. So, did any of you see that new girl, Ashley Wife? No. Hello, Babysitters Club. Hi, Mrs. Rudowski. Saturday. I'll check and call you right back, okay? Thanks. Mrs. Rodowski? 
The only thing that ever happens when you sit for the Radowskis is that Jackie falls off things, on things, or into things. He's a nice kid, but sheesh. Hey, guess what, Cloud? You're the only one who's free that day. Oh no. I've sat for Jackie and his brothers a few times, and he's beginning to grow on me. I loved being in the babysitter's club. I didn't know what I'd do without my friends. Chapter 3 I looked forward to seeing Ashley wave again. Her style was so different, and she seemed to know about art. I wanted to talk to her after English, but unfortunately, Mrs. Hall kept me late. After school, I headed to the Stony Brook Arts Center for my arts class. We were working on a sculpture. I have liked it, but it was hard. I was better at painting and drawing. Since the arts center wasn't far from my school, I got to my class early. I even beat the teacher. Ashley? Hi, Claudia. I can't believe you're in this class. You're joining it? I took lots of art classes in Chicago. This was the only one we could find here, though. Hey, Claudia, that's terrific. It's beautiful. Thanks, it's just an exercise piece. Though I'm practicing on it, learning things. Well, it's terrific. What else do you have? Do you want to see my portfolio? Sure. Claudia, you are really talented. I hope you know that. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you liked everything. Can I look at your portfolio? Do you mind? Oh, no, I don't mind. I wondered what kind of artist Ashley was. You could tell a lot from a person's portfolio. Whoa, amazing. That's not really anything. It's old, but this next one. A watercolor. I wasn't sure what, a, what it was a painting of, but I knew it was really, really good. That is innovation. How long have you been taking art lessons? Oh, forever, since I was four or five. Wow, where did you go? Anywhere special? Do you know the Caius Art Society? It's in Chicago, that's where I used to live. You studied at Caius? Caius was famous among art students. Wow, but how did you get in? They only reserve a few photos for kids. I once asked my parents if I could apply for the summer session. They said it was far too expensive. I was just chosen when I was eight. I hope Mrs. Bayer is as good as my old teacher. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, did you really like my portfolio? Are you kidding? It's fantastic. If you lived in Chicago, you could go to Caius. I felt as though the floor was melting away under me. Me? At Caius? Hello, class. I have an announcement to make. A new art gallery will be on opening in Stony Brook. In honor of the opening, the owners have plied a sculpture contest for the students at the Arts Center. I'd like all of you to think about entering. You can start a new piece or finish one you've already been working on. Even if you don't win, your entry will be exhibited at the gallery the week it opens. I think it would be a good experience for all of you. A show? Oh, we have to enter. Is there a prize? What's the show? Three cash prizes will be awarded. The show is four weeks from today. Four weeks? There's no way I have something good enough to enter in a month. <sighs> I can't enter. Why not? I'm working on two sculptures, one of my grandma, Mimi, and one for my friend Marianne's kitten, Tigger. Neither is right for that kind of thing of a show. I'd have to start from scratch. A month isn't enough time to start and finish a piece. I take my poetry course, keep up with school, and babysit. But you have to enter. You shouldn't waste your talent. I could help you. 
I bet I can teach you lots of things, show you ways to branch out. I can't enter. Well, I'm going to. If it's all I do for the next four weeks, I'm going to create a piece of worth entering. And I th think you should too. Remember, I will help you. Well, I'll see. I knew you'd change your mind. The next day at the Rudowskis. Chapter 4 The next day at the Rudowskis. Ready to make Rice Krispie Treats? Ingredients 3 tablespoons of butter or margarin 1 pack of marshmallows 6 cups of Rice Krispies cereal Directions 1. Add butter to a large saucepan and melt it over low heat 2. Add all the marshmallows until they're completely melted. Remove the mix from heat. 3. Add the cereal and stir with a spatula until it's evenly coated. 4. Pour the mix into a 13 times 9 times 2 pan. Make sure it's coated with oil. You can also set down wax paper. Use a spatula to spread the mix and make it even. Let it cool down for 15 minutes, cut into squares, and enjoy! Oh no, look out! Oops. Well, let's clean up. Ready. What can I do? Just stand still. Phew. Hey, where's Jackie? Uh-oh. She and Archie, look upstairs. I'll search down here and in the rec room. Jackie? Jackie? Jackie! Um, Claudia, can you come up here? Is Jackie in there? Yes, and the door's locked. Hey, Jackie, unlock the door. You know how to do that, don't you? Yeah, only I can't. How come? I'm stuck in the bathtub. How can you be stuck in the bathtub? My hand's down the drain. I can't get it out. He's trying to get his blast of plane he grilled down the drain last night. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, Shia, where's the key to the bathroom? You don't know? Generally, we babysitters ask parents a lot of questions, such as where's the first aid kit, or if the children's had any allergies. I never bothered to ask about the bathroom key. I'm sorry. Oh, Shia, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound angry. I just didn't know how to help Jackie. I do. You do? Yeah, it's simple. You go in through the window. But, Shia, we're upstairs. I know. All you do is get on the roof of the doghouse roof, then get on the tool shed roof, then get onto the porch roof. You can open the window from there. Want me to do it? No, I better be the one. The bathroom window better not be locked. Go, Claudia! Please, please be open. Thank you. For what? Never mind. Now what? I suddenly remembered one of the pages in the Babysitter's Club notebook. Logan and I were sitting for Jackie Radowski when he got his hand stuck in a jar of mayonnaise. Thankfully, we were able to use some margarine to slip his hand out to safety. Marianne. Shia, can you get me some margarine? Sure. Got it. <laughs> Bleh. Now pull your hand up very slowly. Phew. Yay! Why don't we clean up and go outside? And Jackie, no more hands down the drain. Do you know red light, green light? No. It's easy. You guys stand there. I'm the leader. When I turn away from you and close my eyes, I'll say green light. Then you start sneaking up on me. But don't go too fast because when I say red light, I'm going to turn around. Anyway, anyone I catch moving, has to go back to the beginning. First one to tag me wins. Got it? Got it. 
All right, green light. Red light. Good job. Green light. Winner. Ashley. Oof. What are you doing? We're playing red light, green light. Are you? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing here? I live next door. Oh. Why do you have to babysit? I don't have to. This is my job. I love it. I'm vice president of the Babysitters Club. We sit for local families in Stony Brook. So, what do you do in your spare time? I paint or sculpt. I mean, do you and your f what? What do you and your friends do? Well, do you guys go into Chicago? Just, just my artwork. That's really all that's important to me. I had one friend, another girl from Caius. Sometimes we painted together. The only way to develop your talent is to devote time to it, you know. The babysitting club must take up a lot of your time. It does. The club is doing really well. But when do you have time for sculpting? Whenever I make time. I spent plenty of time on my art. In fact, I've decided that I have enough time to enter something in the sculpture show. Good. Hey, I should probably go. I mean, I'd like to talk, but I can't right now. Later then. Ashley was so grown up. I wanted to be serious too. I decided two things. I was going to let Ashley help me with my sculpture and I would not let her see me waste time on stupid games at the Rudowskis. Let's eat lunch today together, Claudia. Do you want to sit with me and my friends? The members of the BSC always sit together. We have an art show to enter. We have to figure out what the subject of our sculptures are going to be. I'd like to help you if you want. Thanks, that'd be great. Are you sure you don't want to sit with them? I just don't think we get anything accomplished. Time is valuable if you want to become a great artist. I guess so. I have to talk to my friends for a sec. I know what this looks like. It looks like, remember that squirrel that got run over? Hi, you guys. Do you know Ashley wife? She's new here. She's in my art class, and um, we're going to eat together today, so we can discuss our sculpture project. Oh, okay. Well, um, see you guys later. Yeah, see you. Wait, can I not have a new friend? They have no right to make me feel like I've committed to a feather climb or something. So have you thought about what you're going to sculpt? No. Do you have any ideas for your project? Well, there's plenty of possibilities. I just haven't narrowed them down. I have a great idea. I read that there's a new watercolor exhibit opening at Curly's Gallery. We owe to check it out. I always get inspired when I'm at a show. But we need, n need ideas for sculptures, not paintings. Oh, Cloud, you will have to go with me. Nobody else will appreciate the show the way you will. Okay, I'll go as long as I'm home by 5.30. I have a babysitter's club meeting. Ashley made me look at the paintings in ways I wouldn't have myself. And she listened, really listened, to what I had to say about them. Oh no, I better go. 5.45 p.m. You guys started without me? Hello, yourself. Of course we started. The phone began ringing. What did you expect? That we'd tell everyone to call back after Claudia got here? You weren't sure you, you were coming at all. Where were you? Ashley and I went to an exhibit at Keller's. How come you didn't call to say you were going to be late? That's a club rule, you know. I was trying to get here. I ran the whole way home. I left the exhibit late. It was just... Ashley and I were having such a good time. How good a time? As good as time as you and I go to the mall? 
Stays. I don't know. What did I miss? Three calls. It looked like you might be free for a couple jobs, but we, sh we couldn't be sure. Stacy and Marianne took them instead. Oh. That was fair. It was a rule. If you were going to be late and didn't tell anyone first, you lose privileges. Still, I didn't like the way it felt to be left out. Chapter 6 I'm an artist and my craft is calling. Calling what? I've come to a decision. I'm going to sculpt an inanimate object. I think maybe you should too. You're going to sculpt a what? An inanimate object, something not alive. You want us to sculpt dead things? No, I want to sculpt objects that aren't living. We're surrounded by inanimate objects. Books, pencils, chairs, trays, they're all inanimate. I don't know, Ashley. Are you sure we're going to go out on a limb like that? Why don't we stick to the more usual stuff? Come down, down with me after school today. We'll go right into the field. I'm sure we'll be inspired. What field? I mean, the real world. Oh, well, all right. But I have another club meeting this afternoon, so I have to be home by 5.30. Sure, no problem. Maybe because she was new in town, or maybe because she was such a talented artist, Ashley noticed all sorts of things that had never seemed notice noticeable to me before. She saw things in them that I never saw. Look at that. What? That. Yes, look at the way it's shaped. It's almost noble. It's short and squat, but it's sitting up straight and square, like a jockey on a prize-winning steed. Whoa. What's so special about an old fire hundred, though? That it's little but mighty. I try to bring out those qualities in the sculpture. I think the secret of sculpting objects is making them look animated. Look at that traffic light. Yeah, I f think of the power it holds. It controls the traffic. It can make people wait and it can prevent accidents. It's a small box doing an awfully big job. Yeah, look at that squashed can. Whoa, look at that gum wrapper. Wow. Look at the time. I'm going to be late for another meeting. I'm sorry, but I need to leave. But Claudia, we haven't made any decisions. I have to go. The club is important to me. It's a business, and besides, the other members are my friends. I'm your friend too, am I not? Yes, you're my friend. I had a group of friends, but so far, Ashley only had me. What Ashley and I were doing was important, and something I could only do with her. Not with any of my other friends. You know, the meeting isn't urgent or anything. Can I borrow your phone to, del to tell Dawn I won't be able to make it? Sure, I'll go get us some food. Hi, it's me, Claudia. Oh, hi. Listen, I'm not going to be able to come to the meeting today. Ashley and I have to choose subjects for a sculpture show. Can you be vice president for me today? Sure. And tell the others I won't be coming. Sure. Well, I better go. Okay, bye. Later. Really disappointed in you, Claudia. You're letting the BSC down again? Christy. Claudia, you're sitting for Nina and Eleanor Marshall next Friday from 3.30 to 6.30. Marianne. Chapter 7. I'm glad I found you. I had a great idea this morning for your sculpture, and I wanted to tell you it right away. Thank goodness, because I'm not too sure about an um, inanimate object. Hi, Claudia. Hi, you guys. We missed you at the meeting yesterday. I'm sorry, I had to We know, we know, your sculpture. Nice skirt. You suppose you'll be able to clear time in your busy schedule to get to the next meeting? I plan to. I hope you approve of that. Cloudy is an art. Don't remind us. 
She's an artist and needs to spend time on her work. What are you, her tutor? I'm her mentor. If Claudia is going to develop her talent to the fullest, and I do think she can go a long way in the word of art, she can devote as much time as possible to it. But she does. Plenty of time. Hey, does this mean you're quitting the club? It would be nice if you'd let us know. We'd like to hold meetings somewhere other than in your room if you are. I'm not quitting the club. Could have fooled us. Yeah. I'm not quitting. Good. Goodbye. Oh, who needs them when you have art? Yeah. Good afternoon, class. While you're working today, I want to find out how each of you is doing on your piece for your show. I'll walk around and talk to you privately. Ashley, you've definitely decided to go ahead with the fire hydrant? Yes. I just think it's different. I want to do something different. Very well. Wonderful, Claudia. That's coming along fine. What? This? This is just a practice piece. It's not for the show. I don't know what I'm going to enter. You'd better choose soon, Cloud, and then get cracking. I like the hand, though. Why not enter it? I want to make a statement, too. Okay, Cloud. I'm proud of you. Yeah? And, well, I never got to tell you the idea I had this morning. Instead of sculpting an inanimate object, you could sculpt a concept. You know, something like love or peace or brotherhood. I don't mind if you use my idea. Well, I, um, I don't know what to say. Anyone who can see the power in the spotlight ought to be able to come to with a great visual recitation of a concept, like unity. Hmm, I'll think about it. Great! Hey, Cloud, you want to come over to my house sometime? I could show you some of the sculptures I'm working on at home, and also the studio my parents are fixing up for me. It's on the top of the roof, where the best light is. Gosh, that sounds amazing! I'd love to see everything. Ashley was a talented artist, and she valued me and trusted me. What else could you want in a friend? Some people are traitors, and you know who you are. Ordinarily, this notebook is used to record our babysitting jobs, but it's also for club problems, and we have a little problem right now. It's a certain person who keeps missing, missing meetings. It's a good thing we have an alternate officer because Don sure had to take over the duties of our vice president a lot lately. But I don't mind being a vice president, you guys. Okay, so Don doesn't mind, but we do mind having a VP who'd rather be an artist. Yeah, our VP used to be very nice, but now she never shows up at meetings and she hangs around with a person who wears bell-bottom blue jeans to school. Chapter 8 Hey Cloud. Hi. We haven't seen each other in a while. Do you want to maybe go to the mall with me after school? I'd really like to, but I've got to catch up with some English assignments at the library. Maybe another time? Sure, okay. Claudia! Ashley, hey! I'm glad I caught you. Do you want to come over and see the studio? Um, sure. Great, let's go. Can I borrow your phone when we get there? I should let the club know I can't come. Sure thing. Okay, where is she? You mean Claudia? Who else? She's at Ashley's. Ashley's? That big liar! She told me she couldn't go to the mall with me this afternoon because she had to study at the library. You're kidding. No way. I'm not joking. How you got- Is she missing again? Ha, huh, very good, Sherlock Holmes. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like raiding Claudia's junk food. It would serve her right if she came back and found we'd eaten everything. But you can't eat that stuff. I can eat some of it. I can eat her pretzels and crackers. I wouldn't mind eating up some of her stuff. She got, 
she got pretzels in the old pajama bag and crackers in the Monopoly box. She got marshmallows in a shoebox in the closet and liquor sticks under her mattress. I'll even help you eat that junk. I'll help too. And after we're done, we should take whatever's left and leave it in the wrong places. Hey, let's short sheet her bed. Okay. Hey, guys, let's hide some notes for Claudia to find. What kind? Ones that make her realize what she's doing to the club. Roses are red, violets are blue, traitors are jerks, and so are you. You guys, why do you think Ashley's wife wants Claudia to be her friend so badly? She just wants a friend, doesn't she? She's new here and doesn't know anyone. I guess what I mean is, why only Claudia? Doesn't it seem like she wants just one friend and that friend is Claudia? Yeah, she hardly ever speaks to us. She doesn't talk to anyone else either. If she didn't eat lunch with Claudia, I'm sure she'd eat alone. Ashley's in my gym class. She's always alone. You know, I think all Ashley really cares about is art. She found a good artist in Claudia. Maybe Claudia is sort of a project for her. Oh, I'm not explaining myself very well. You're explaining yourself fine. What you just said is that Ashley likes Claudia because she's an artist, not because she's Claudia. And if that's true, I'm beginning to wonder just how good a friend Ashley wife is. Chapter 9 since I kept missing BSC meetings, I wasn't signed up for many jobs, but I'd been signed up for this afternoon with the Rudowski boys for quite some time. To tell the truth, I'd really been looking forward to it. Jackie may have been accident prone, but we still had a good time. Whoops. Jackie? Archie? Shia? Um, we're in the living room. What's going on? We tried to make a tower out of the pillows. It was the tallest one we've ever built. But then Jackie tried to climb it, and it all fell down. He landed on a pillow, and it ripped. We didn't mean to. It just kind of happened. Shia, really? You're the oldest. It was Jackie's idea. Why? What were you thinking climbing it? I don't know. All right, this, is, this isn't getting us anywhere. The first thing to do is find all the stuffing. Everyone spread out and pick up as much as you can. Okay. Now what? Leave it all on the table so I can stuff it back inside. Shia, can you gather the cushions and put them back in place? Yes, sir. I liked to make things, so I happen to have an emergency sewing kit in my bag. Here we go. There. Yay! Will you guys promise not to make another pillow tower again? Promise. Thanks. Now let's do something fun. Let's watch TV. Wouldn't you rather play a game? Yeah, let's play red light, green light. Please, Claudia. Well, I had already vowed not to play games in the Rodaski's front yard anymore. Please, Claudia, it was so much fun. I want to be the one in charge. Okay. Oh, hi. I get to lead the game this first game. It's my job today. Woo, red light, green light time. Claudia's the best leader though, right, Claudia? Right. Red light, green light again? They love it. I just don't understand why you waste all your time on all this. All what? This uselessness. They're kids. They're important to me. Oh, you sound like you're getting sentimental. Is that so bad for an artist? We put our emotions into our work. Besides, who was the one who said oh, she would sculpt love with gentle curves and tender feelings? That is pure mush if I've ever heard it. Mush? This is the things they get for what, Ashley? 
what did you expect thanks for? What did you do that would, wouldn't would have done just because you're my friend? I taught you about sculpting. I taught you how to look beyond Mrs. Bear and to see what else you can do. So you think you deserve to get paid back? It doesn't work that way. Friends are friends because they like each other, not because they're in debt. Did you even like me or just my art? I do like you. But you want me to devote my life to art. That's not fair. You shouldn't make up conditions for friendship. Besides, there's more to my life than just art. I'm not giving anything up. You mean you're not giving up anything for me? Because I'm not important enough for you. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you something, Claudia. You're ungrateful and foolish. And you don't know a thing about being a friend. She was right. I hadn't been a good friend. At least not to Stacy and the other members of the BSC. I thought everyone must hate me. I'd be surprised if any of them ever spoke to me again. Claudia? It looks like it's going to rain. I don't think red light, green light is a very good idea after all. Come on inside, okay? We can watch some TV. Okay. What had happened to me over these past couple of weeks? Somehow, I would allowed myself to be swept away by Ashley. Did I even have any other friends now? Before Ashley came along, I called Stacy when I was upset about something. I couldn't do that now. And what about the shard show? Mrs. Bear expected me to enter, and I didn't have any other subject for my sculpture. Claudia, can you help me? Of course. Jackie, he'd be a great subject. I've been wanting to sculpt something alive all along. Chapter 10. The next day. Claudia. Hi, Mrs. Rudowski. Are you here to babysit for the boys too? Marianne just got here, so I'm on my way out. Oh, no. Actually, I'm here to ask your permission to sculpt Jackie for a contest I'm entering. A contest? It's a part of a project I'm doing for my art class. While sculpting something different for the opening show in the new gallery downtown. I couldn't think of anything that inspired me until I realized that Jackie would make a great subject. Well, that all sounds very cool. I'm fine with it as long as Jackie's on board. Feel free to stay and ask him. Thanks, Mrs. Rodowski. Of course, thank you for asking permission. Bye, girls. Um, hi. Hi. Is Jackie around? I'd like to do some sketches of him. Well, I want to sculpt him, but I have to sketch him first. Well, he's in the kitchen cleaning up. Is it one of his bad days? You could say so. He didn't mean to exactly, but he knocked over a 10 pound bag of dog chow and then got nail polish all over a pair of socks. Uh, how did that happen? It's a long story. Why don't you come in? Hi, I'm the only one here today. She's at his piano lesson and Archie's at his tumbling class. Don't you like to take lessons? Yeah, but I break too many things. Mrs. Shivon said so. Who's Mrs. Shivon? Jinx. Mrs. Shivon's the piano teacher. She lets she come to her house because he didn't break her metronome. Or her umbrella. Or her doorbell. How did you break her doorbell? I'm not sure, but it's broken all right. It used to play somewhere over the rainbow. Now it just goes bing, boing, Bonk. Jackie, Claudia came over because she wants to ask you something. What? Well, everyone in my art class is making a sculpture of something different for a big show in, in a gallery. I was thinking I'd like to sculpt you for my piece. You want to make a statue of me? Well, yes, sort of. Except I'm not going to, I'm not going to sculpt all of you, just your head. Sculpt my head? Will it hurt? Not a bit. I won't even touch you. 
And I'll be in a show where everyone will see me? Yep. Oh boy, oh boy. Do you want to start now? I need to make some drawings of you. Is it okay? Fine with me. Great, let's scoot down some. Try not to move. Jacko, you can relax. You can even move a little if you want. And breathe, please. How about I get him a coloring book? Oh, great. Thank you. So, um, how's Ashley? Okay, I guess. Jackie, you ready? Yeah. I should have known she would ask about Ashley. Ahem. Yes. Claudia, I was wondering, is Ashley your, um, best friend now? She most certainly is not. She isn't, but I, th I thought we were friends too. I thought nobody understood me the way Ashley did. But I guess I was wrong. You know what I was wishing yesterday? I wish I could talk to Stacy. Stacy and the rest of you guys understand me in other ways. But she probably isn't talking to me. Claudia, you and that girl who wears the long dresses are mad at each other, aren't you? I guess so. Mommy says that when you're mad, you have to tell each other why. Did you do that? I tried to, but... I'll see who it is. Hey, did you break this doorbell too? Sort of. What's going on? Ashley, what are you doing here? I saw your bike outside. I couldn't believe you were babysitting again. And I see you aren't. Nope, I'm starting my sculpture for the show. That should make you happy. Not if you're going to sculpt him. You're going to sculpt a person. Why did you lose your nerve? I didn't lose my nerve. I'll sculpt what I want to sculpt. I do people best, even though I have a lot to learn. Well, you're not going to learn it from me. Have fun ruining your career. Whoa, that was intense. Are you still going to put my head on the show? You bet I am. Don't worry about her. Hey, Cloud, you know you really stood up to her. She still doesn't understand what I'm saying. She doesn't want to understand, and that makes a big difference. Are we going to see you at the next club meeting? I don't think so. Not today's. Because I'm behind on homework and I got another D on my spelling test. I'm going to hit the books. But couldn't you come back from the library by 5.30? I could, but I didn't think I would be welcome. Usually, but just not this time. All right, I'll tell the others. Okay. I've got enough sketches for now. Thanks a lot, Jackie O. I had a lot to do. Chapter 11. I needed to make a list to organize everything I wanted to do. I didn't want to forget anything. Friends. One, call Ashley, try to explain. Call Stacy, apologize. Call Christy, apologize, tell her we'll be able to be at the next meeting. Schoolwork. One, ask Mrs. Hall if I can retake the spelling test again. Two, go to the library again, work on the project of war in, of 1912. Three, read missed books. Sculpture show. One, Think very carefully about how much time I need to work on my sculpture. Two, talk to Mrs. Bear. How was I going to get everything done? I guess the best thing to do was to dig right in. Hi, Ashley, it's me. Oh, look, I'm really bit. Tell me about it. Listen, I'm calling you because I have to tell you something, and I want you to try to understand. What? That my life is very big. I mean, there's a lot to it. I have friends and my family and school and art and poetry and babysitting. Maybe someday I'll decide I don't want to narrow things down, but not right now. I like to try new things. I'm happiest when I'm busy, even sometimes I'm too busy. I really like you, Ashley, 
but I can't spend all my time working on art with you, even if you are the most talented person I know. Do you see what I mean? Yes, I do. She hung up. She didn't like me anymore. She probably didn't value me as an artist anymore either. But what had I really lost? A real friend wouldn't have hung up on me. A real friend wouldn't ha- would have listened and tried to understand. At least, I hope this was true. Hello? Hi, Stace. Claudia? <laughs> it's me. I'm calling to apologize. I know I've been a flaky friend lately. I've got all carried away with Ashley because... Well, because she really made me feel like I had talent. I've never been able to talk about R like that before. It doesn't make up for how I blew you guys off. But I wanted you to know. I hope we can still be friends. Thanks, Cloud. We're still friends, but I think we need to discuss some things. Maybe we can talk more in person? I'd love that. Last but not least, Christy. Hello? Christy, it's me, Claudia. Oh, I just wanted to apologize for not being a good vice president. I wanted to focus on my art, but got carried away and ended up letting everyone down. I'm going to make things right, though. I'm going to make up all my homework, and I'm definitely going to be at the next club meeting. Okay? Okay. Not much of a start, but it was something. I was already one less down. I could do this. Mrs. Hall? Yes, Claudia? Would it be possible to retake my last quiz? I'm catching up on my reading and I think that would really help with my score. Good, you can make it up tomorrow afternoon while I'm getting papers. Yes, thank you. See you tomorrow. I like this subject you finally chose. Thanks, me too. But I wanted to tell you, I'm not going to be able to finish this in time for the show. I've only got one more week, and I have so much schoolwork to catch up on. I'll work on this sculpture for class, but I'll try to be ready for the show, so I'm not going to enter it. I'm sorry to hear that. Looking at what you've got so far, I think you could finish on time. Only if I drop everything else, and I don't want to do that. Of course, that's all right. I respect your decision. Thanks. Thanks a lot. That was hard, but I feel feel a lot better. Now I could focus on getting my work done. Chapter 12. On Monday, I ate lunch in the resource room and practiced my spelling for the makeup test. I was proud of myself. I probably wouldn't get an A, but I could probably pull off a B. Now I had one last thing to do before the BSC meeting. Claudia, has there been a mix-up? Did I- oh no, I came to talk to Jackie. Is he home from school yet? He got here a few minutes ago, come on in. Claudia! Whoops. Are you going to start sculpting my head? Not today. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Come sit with me. I came over to tell you something. I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to be able to put you in the show after all. You're not? No, I don't have time to finish it all before the show. I'd still fi- like to stop you, though. You would? Yup. I showed the drawings of you to my teacher, and she really liked them. She wants me to stop you, too. But... No show? No show. Would you like to be my model anyway? Yes. Great. I'm sorry about the show, but I wanted to be honest with you, Jackie O. It's okay, Claudia. I love you. I just realized I'd missed little kids. Only someone Jackie's age would hug me when I just disappointed him. It looked like I was on track to be early to the meeting. But I didn't want to take any chances. Hey everybody, I'm back! Hey! Any calls yet? 
Nope. Good. Then we've got time for this. Everyone has to take one. Even you, Stacy. But I can't. Don't worry. A note? Now, who has the note with the number one on it? I do. Okay, read your note first, then whoever has the number two, read yours, then three, then four, and so on. Dawn? <clears throat> Long ago, in another time, I had some friends, and they were mine. Um, then I found an artist who said, I am good, and so are you. So I followed her here, and I followed her there. And round and round everywhere. But she was false, and it was you who showed me friends that are true. I'm sorry. I um I really missed you guys and babysitting. I'm sorry I let myself get carried away with art and animated objects or whatever they're called. Please understand. Hardly anybody tells me I'm really good at something. When you're me, that doesn't just happen often. Then Ashley came along. She was an amazing artist who completed me. I felt important when I was with her, and I didn't want to lose that. I know that she wasn't a real friend, though. I just hope we can be friends again. Oh, that's so sad and lovely. Oh, you guys. I guess we've been more of a drama club lately, huh? <laughs> yeah. Claudia, we forgive you. You do? We do? Of course we do. Claudia, listen, we owe you an apology as well. I didn't know how important this show was to you. I guess because I never asked. I'm sorry you felt like Ashley was the only person you could talk to. We all could have handled this a whole lot better. Yeah, sorry, Claudia. Sorry, Cloud. You're still my best friend. I'm no Ashley, but I can promise to be more supportive of your art. Oh, Stacy. Save some room for us. Oh, can I get it? It feels like years since I've taken a call. Go for it. Hello, Babysitter's Club. Yes? You what? But it isn't finished. I don't know what to say. Okay, see you then. Who was that? Was it Ashley? No, that was Mrs. Bear, my art teacher. She entered my sculpture of Jackie into the show. Even though it's only half finished. What? Is that even legal? No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm kind of excited, but also super nervous. Don't worry, you've got this. When is the show? Tomorrow night at 8. Then we'll be there. Chapter 13. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Relax, Cloud. You're going to give yourself a zip from all this stress. What? Don't worry. I'm sure it looks great. Heck, you might even want a prize. Shh, don't jinx it. Looks like they opened the doors. What if everyone hates it? What if they laugh? What if Ashley laughs? I think I'm gonna faint. Oh, Cloud, you are not. Whoa. This place is huge. How many sculptures are here? Mrs. Bear said about 60 pieces are on display. Then we'd better get started. Looks like I lost the crew. What was going on there? It was Ashley's fire hundred. She really did manage to bring it to life. I guess the judges thought so too. It's an animated inanimate object. Ashley, um, congrats. Thanks. Hey, listen, I'm sorry about before. When you wanted to do other things, I just assumed you meant you didn't want to be with me. So this wasn't about my art career? I, hey, Claudia. Come see what I found. I gotta go, but thanks for telling me this. Maybe we can talk more later? Sure. What is it? It's your sculpture. 
my sculpture and you got an honorable mention for a work in progress. You would have won first prize if you'd finished. I would have. The judges were very impressed. However, this doesn't make up for me entering your piece without your permission. I'm sorry, Claudia. Thanks, Mrs. Bear. It's okay. Hopefully I can enter a complete piece for the next show. Let's hope so. Excuse me, are you Claudia Kishi? I'm of Stony Brook News. We're gathering all the winners for a group photo. We'll be running an article about the gallery show in a few days. Wow! Congrats! Say cheese! The next day... Ashley? Oh, Claudia! I was wondering, do you have some place to sit for lunch? I mean, would you like to sit with me and my friends? With you? Well, oh, come on. Hey, guys. Hey. You know what this meat smells like? Old sneakers and athlete foot cream? Well, I was going to say terpene, rubber cement, and articlic paint, but I guess that's pretty much the same. Yeah, I guess so.